Hey guys, so there are people in the world that climb mountains. And you know, whenever you ask people, why do you climb the mountain? Like ask any person, why did somebody climb the mountain? And it's always to get to the top. But if the summit was the point, why wouldn't they just take a helicopter? The point isn't to get to the top of the mountain. The point is the journey and the accomplishment of going up that mountain. Every single step, every aching step. Whenever they climb Mount Everest, if the to see the peak was it, then they could have done that from a helicopter. But instead, they took that journey, that journey that stretched them, that pushed them beyond what they thought was capable. Because in the end, they accomplished something. It's about the journey. And so I just want to encourage you in Philippians 3... Paul talks about how, you know, his goal is to push forward, right? Uh, to push past and to obtain this thing that he said, I haven't obtained it already. I want to be like Christ and I haven't gotten there. It's a journey, right? Some of us think that we've arrived. But the thing is, if I arrive at the summit, there ain't no more climbing, we haven't arrived. There's always more. There's more for us to do. There's more for us to go. So I just encourage you. You haven't arrived. Not that, you know, like I think I'm any better than you, but we need to push forward to obtain what it is that Christ obtained us for. Why did God grab a hold of you? And if it was just to do the thing that you've already done, then you have served your purpose. But if it's for something more, something bigger than you, then you need to keep on pushing forward to obtain, obtain that wonderful thing that God has grabbed you for. Thanks for taking a minute.